is this thing on? Alright, gentlemen, coming to main stage next, this is Bunny. Get up there, she's got a tornado of titties coming your way. Get those dollar bills ready. She's got an ass that shakes like Michael J. Fox. So get up there and throw, throw, throw them dollars. Dude, that is fucking iconic. <laughs> What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to another episode of Dumb Blonde. Today, I have my girl AJ Applegate here. I'm so excited. How long did you do porn for? You have an extensive resume. I yes. googled you this morning and I was like, holy shit, I didn't even realize like how okay. much. No, I I had no idea. I just thought you were just the cutest thing when I saw you oh on my Instagram. God, that's so funny. Had no idea that you had like this huge fucking like you are like one of the last real porn stars, I feel like. Um, thank you. you no, know, that's like a total compliment. Like Jenna, no, yeah, definitely. you know, like not not as far as back as like the Jenna Jameson era, right. but more like the Jesse Jane era. Yeah, I was stripping, of course. That's how it always starts. Yes. I was a dancer for eleven years, and then I started sucking off old men. Right and here, I am. <laughs> and it just helps you like open up the doors. To it other really, it's like it's like a gateway drug. Like yes, seriously, that's what I was like say. it's like the marijuana of the adult industry. Right, <laughs> and then you move on to the ecstasy and the fucking yeah. heroin and all that. I grew up in Vegas, and uh -huh. they always I used to always have like creepy ass agents come ask me to be in a fucking porn and I just never <laughs> trusted the dudes I was like I, man I'm gonna end up fucking rhinos or something yeah. we had to fucking work for our shillings exactly like Instagram literally just came out when I started right I mean I don't know if it was out before that but it started just getting like popular right right you know <laughs> scared the <laughs> shit out of me I was like whoa wow you did so good for your first scene like usually I have to tell girls constantly stop looking at the guy look at the camera look at the camera like the whole time yeah and he was like i think you're gonna do really good in this industry i think you're, <laughs> I think you're a fucking star bitch and a star was born <laughs> the girls used to have to be like a certain standard to be right. even considered to be a porn girl an escort girl even strippers and now i feel like the market is so saturated and, and i'm not knocking anybody because more power to these girls but I mean, there's literally grandmas that are in here fucking on OnlyFans and they are fucking killing it, dude. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, I can't wait to be old because that's going to be me, dude. Like, I'm going like to be fucking finish. only grands and shit. Yeah. I'm going to fucking be 68 just showing my muffin to 25-year-old cabana boys. I can't wait. We met on Hinge, the dating app. <laughs> now do you see why I tell you to get on Hinge? I'm trying to get her married, you know? It's just time. Like, I tried Bumble once before that yeah. and I hated it. I don't like Bumble either because the girl has to reach out and that and it's so fucking confusing. Yeah. Like there's a girl, there's girls on there, yeah. there's guys on there. People can want, just want to be friends. Like, yeah. motherfucker, I'm on here looking for dick. <laughs> <I'm> <clears throat> What's up, guys? Just wanted to take a moment to tell you guys that this podcast is sponsored by AdamandEve.com. What else do I have to say? Why not snuggle up to your favorite dildos that you can go and get for 50% off at adamandeve.com. All you gotta do is just use code bunny, B-U-N-N-I-E. Tap that little fucking, what's the button called? <laughs> Check out. And voila, your packages are delivered discreetly straight to your door. What are you waiting for? It's time to buzz the bean. And don't forget that it's also free shipping. And what, just want to be friends? Like, yeah. motherfucker, I'm on here looking for dick. <laughs> I know. I'm not trying to be your fucking friend. We could be friends for the night, but not, like, I'm not on here soul right. searching for my fucking next BFF. Yeah. It's easier to date somebody in the industry or outside of the industry? I think in the industry. Well, for me. Yeah. Um, you never got jealous of hard. scenes or you just understood it because no I just always like because we were both doing the same thing so I always understood I couldn't imagine you being my dance teacher I would be trying to bone <laughs> all the time I'd be like hey I just dropped little Jimmy off you want to teach me a couple toe taps behind the shed <laughs> just because of what you did in your past that it's not yeah. okay my my daughter's going through this at school right now all of her uh, friends and stuff like half of them think she's really cool and the other half are like your mom's a whore there's gonna be a little bit of a stigma you know, no matter if people want to deny it or not. Do you think you know? it's just like jealous moms or horny husbands or both? Both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like the men would never take you serious and the moms would never want to bring their kids right. around because they're jealous. Yeah. I hate the stig the whole stigmatism with, uh, the whole stigma. Is it stigmatism or stigma? Stigma. <laughs> <laughs> 
the whole stigmatism. I have, I have two in my eyes. That's a stigmatism. The whole <laughs> stigma around. So see, I'm really, I am a dumb blonde sometimes. It's going to be fun. I got to put on my bifocals because <laughs> Lord knows I'm blind over here. Yeah. I don't care about dudes with perfect bodies. Dudes with perfect bodies are normally more into themselves. True. Than you can be into them. Let them fucking bite the vagina. Just fucking <laughs> chew it like a piece of bubble gum. I don't give a shit. My nipples, I will kick somebody in their yeah. fucking face. Would you rather have a guy who has a small penis but gives you stronger orgasms or a big penis with less intense orgasms? A small penis. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. A I, big penis. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fuck it. The doggy style hurts, but give me that big old schlong. I'm ready for it. No, no. Small dicks gross me out sometimes. Small dicks are a little weird. So yeah. I think I'd rather go with the big penis. <laughs> yeah. Small dicks look like belly buttons. Yeah, it's, I, don't I like hate it. it. <laughs> fuck it. I don't give a shit about an hour of foreplay. Just give me some fucking dick. Let's get it up, get it in, get it on and get it out, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Would you rather spit or swallow? Swallow yeah Spitters baby are I, I don't think i've ever spit honestly i don't think i've ever spit out cum. this is a she's a fucking champ guys right like, here ever that's that's so like rude i feel like <laughs> <laughs> see the rest of this episode and you're gonna want to see the rest of this episode head over to www.dumbblondeunrated.com